Hey everyone, it's Deanna with Paperback Daydreamer. Um, so I'm a little late doing my vlog this week, but we've got a lot of stuff going on right now at our house. Um, right now, we are going to be getting new carpet in our up entire upstairs and then some part of the downstairs. Um, and that's not happening this coming week, but the week after. So basically, um, I have to clean up all these surfaces in my room and then all the stuff on the floor besides big items like dressers and stuff like that. So anyways, basically I have to get all that stuff cleaned up so that when the carpet people come in, they will move our dressers and such. But if anything's on top of them, they won't move that. I'm guessing it's the whole, they don't want to break anything. If they break something, then, you know, they'd have to pay for it. So they don't want to do that, obviously. So I had to go through my entire bookshelf. That's what my project was today. And now I'm in like cleaning mode. So I'm not very happy about that. But anyway, so I had to go through my entire bookshelf and move all my books to my closet. So they're all stacked up in my closet right now. And I didn't realize how many books I had on my bookshelf until I did that. And it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I think I went ahead and cataloged all my books on Excel so that I could go through Goodreads at some point in time and put them all on there as books that I have to read, um, on my bookshelf, like physically have them right now. And it's a little ridiculous. Um, so now I'm not letting myself buy any new books besides, um, new books coming out for series that I have already started. So... That's good because then I can start getting through some of the other books that I have sitting on my shelf right now that I need to read. So that's not fun at the moment. Um, it's kind of a little stressful between trying to get my room cleaned up and organized and such before um, the carpet people come next Monday. So not October 31st, but the Monday after that. Anyway, so book-wise this week, um, I did not get through as many books as I wanted to. I knew I wasn't going to. Hello, between school and work and such. Um, and the fact that I don't read very fast um, kind of all killed me this week. But I did finish Tempest Rising by Nicole Peeler, and I really enjoyed this book. I cannot believe it took me so long to finish this, um, to actually start and finish it, I guess I should say. Um... I really, really enjoyed it. I did go out and buy book two in the series, which I plan on reading in November. Um, I saw that there's four books out right now, so it's not going to take me too long to get caught up. Um, so that, I read that one. That will go up for review on Wednesday. And then I read The Fear by Mark Edward Hall. And it was a novella, and it was like a horror terror type book, and I really enjoyed it. Um... And that will be going up for review tomorrow as my Halloween review. And then I am halfway through Caleb by Sarah McCarty. Um, this is one of the books that I will be dual reviewing with Christy with Smitten with Reading. Um, and I'm enjoying it so far. It took me a while to really start enjoying it till about halfway through, which is where I'm at. So I'm excited to see how the book's going to end. Um, and then we're going to do the dual review for that the last week of November, um, followed by two more dual reviews, um, one right after the other for the other two books in the series. So I'll talk about one of those here in a second. Um, so anyway, hopefully review posting this week will be The Fear by um, Mark Edward Hall on Monday, Tippest Rising by Nicole Peeler on Wednesday, and then hopefully I will get through which I should by Friday, um, Halo, which is the first book in a series. Um, so I'm hoping to get this one read and reviewed on Friday. And then um, after that, I'm going to read Hades, which is the second book in that series. And um, this is one of the ones that I got from Zygo Zygost Media um, to review. And I will review that next Monday. Um, and then I will be reading Jace which is the second book in the Shadow Wrangler series that Christy and I will be dual reviewing. Um, so I'm going to get that one read by this weekend so that next Monday um, her and I will start our dual review for that. And then I'm hoping, because this one's pretty um, short, I think there's only, there's less than 200 pages in it, but it's captured. And this one I got from 
a giveaway that Diane with Offbeat Vagabond um, put up on her blog. So I will be reading that. Um, so basically, November has become my review month for my, yeah, my review month for books that I have either been requested to review or have gotten in giveaways. Um, that was supposed to be October, but other things came up that I ended up reviewing instead. So November is going to come back to that. I'm also planning on doing giveaways this month. This is my um, one year anniversary month. And um, I'm very excited about that. I can't believe I've been blogging for one year over books and it's been fun. I've met some awesome people and um, I'm hoping to do some giveaways for that. Um, I know for, sorry everyone, I'm going to step away for a second to grab these. Anyways, so I know that I will be doing giveaways for the following and I have to find one more uh, giveaway book to do, but... I'm going to go ahead and give away Harry Potter, the first book in that, along with the first movie. So this will be one uh, giveaway going up this month. And then I will be doing a giveaway for the other Bolin girl. I actually got this book, um, not this exact one, my copy of it in England when I was coming back from a tour, um, an equine which is horse tour and I really liked it and I ended up buying it because I was going to give it I don't know I think I was going to give it to my mom because she still had my copy and I wanted it back um, but she ended up reading it um, so I'm going to go ahead and give this book away one week and then <clears throat> I will be giving away The Liberation of Alice Love which I had mentioned on a vlog a couple weeks ago um, after I read it I really enjoyed the book but it's not something that I will read again um, I think that other people should definitely pick it up and read it. So I decided I was just going to pass it on um, as a giveaway. So those are three of the giveaways that will be going on this month, um, followed by something else. I just don't know what yet. Um, other than that, my life is pretty crazy at the moment. Um, sorry I look like crap. I was cleaning, obviously, today. So um, anyways, um, oh, football game. So yesterday was a football game for us. And it did not go so good. So we went into the game being 7-0, and oh, no losses. And we were all very excited about that. And now we are 7-1 and one because yesterday's game did not go good. I don't even remember the final score, but it was uh, Oklahoma State University was 50, I think like 53, and we were 17. So 53-17 to 17 was the final score yesterday. And it did not go good, um, obviously. So that was kind of depressing, and hopefully um, we won't lose very many more games the rest of the season. Um, I know for sure that we are bowl eligible. I believe that we are definitely going to a bowl this year. Um, it just depends on how many more losses we have for which bowl we will go to. And that will be part of my graduation gift is our family going to the bowl game. So part of my graduation gift will be going to a bowl game. Um, and my mom's already offered to take me back to Vegas this year. And go to Thunder Down Under. Um, so that will be another graduation gift. She said that she wants to take me there. Um, the last time we went, we kept seeing the signs for Thunder Down Under. And um, I kept saying, oh, we should go, Mom. We should go. And like jokingly, but I think it'd be kind of fun. Obviously, hot guys. Hello. Um, so anyways, that is going to be one of my graduation gifts is going to Thunder Down Under um, in Vegas in January. So um, there's two of my graduation gifts. And I think another one that my parents want to do is get me a class ring because um, I really want one since I'm finally graduating. I mean, you guys, I've been in school for like seven years. Um, so this whole graduating in December is kind of a big deal for me and my family because it's finally like I'm finally getting there. Um, and speaking of graduating, so um, I did do my graduation photo shoot uh, uh, last weekend and it went good. And I'm going to post some pictures from that. I think this week I'll post some of those so you guys can see them. I know some of my friends on here um, are on my Facebook, um, but those of you that aren't on Facebook and haven't seen them yet, I will go ahead and post some of those. Um, and this next week I will start my um, job search and applying for jobs. So I'm a little nervous about that, but I'm just going to go out and apply everywhere, um, either in Kansas. I am going to 
I really do want to move to New Mexico, but due to the job market and stuff, if something doesn't <clears throat> come available for me there, um, if something comes available for me here in Kansas, then I'll go for it because it's better having a job than not having a job. And I know a lot of my friends have been having problems finding jobs. So basically that's going to happen this next week is I will be um, applying for jobs and seeing how it goes. Um, so one, it's not just this next week. I mean, from now until I graduate and after, I'll be um, looking for jobs, applying for jobs, and seeing where they go. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, that's what's going on right now for me. I just keep looking at my shelf on the top of my closet and all the books I have. It's a little ridiculous. Um, so I will have tons of books that I can read and get caught up with on some series. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'll have to buy books really for the next like three years and I'll be fine. Okay, not really, but I have like 200 plus books on my bookshelf um, that I have not read yet. That's crazy, people. Crazy. I can't believe I've done that to myself. But anyways, um, I think that's really all that's going on. Um, I'm going to try to take the rest of the day to um, finish reading Caleb so that Christy and I can start our dual review emailing back and forth tomorrow um and then hopefully start K halo tomorrow so i can get that one read and reviewed by friday um i'm really trying to get caught up on reviews so that i'm a little ahead but it hasn't been working every time i get a little bit ahead i end up falling behind it's like get ahead one step fall behind two and it's very frustrating um, anyways, now I'm just babbling on and on. Julie, I know, we both have a problem with babbling. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I think you guys get a good kick out of that. Um, anyways, so that's what's going on this next week for me is just cleaning, trying to get everything um, in my room, out of my room, which is kind of depressing. I, you do not know how much stuff you can fit in a room. Um, when I went from having my own apartment to moving back in with my parents... You know, I went from having my own storage places, my own bedroom, my own bathroom, and all this stuff. And a lot of it is in my storage unit. But then, of course, I had all this stuff that I was like, no, I have to have this at my house. And so I just started shoving things places. And I don't realize, you don't realize how much stuff you can fit in one room. I, I'm just sitting here, like, going through everything. And it feels like I've moved a ton of stuff. And then it's still, I've just got stuff piled everywhere. So this isn't fun. But... That will be my next week is trying to read, stay up on school, and um, get my room cleaned out so we can get new carpet in here, um, which should be very exciting. My mom's very excited about the new carpet, um, and I think we've had the same carpet in our house since we moved here when I was in, like, sixth grade. So it's going to be a nice change, and um, we'll see how it goes with having to move everything, though. Anyways, so that's all I got. That's what's going on this week for me reading-wise. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy the giveaways. I hope people sign up for them this time around. Um, and we'll go from there. That's all I got. Okay. So anyways, I hope that you guys have all had a fantastic weekend. If you um, are football fans, I hope your team's won compared to ours. And um, I will definitely talk to you guys this week. And I'm planning on catching up now that Bout of Books is over as of 11.59 tonight. Um, once that's over, I will have more time to actually go out there and read your guys' reviews and posts and get caught up with everybody. So I'm sorry I've been absent, but that will change this week. So anyways, now I've babbled for like five minutes and I'm going to stop. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys this week. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Enjoy the rest of your Sundays.